So I put 10,000 into the bank, they take my 10,000 and they go get 100,000. They borrow it from the Fed window. They get 10 times the amount of our deposits that we put into the bank, they then get 10 times the amount. They then take that 10 times the amount and they put it into treasury bonds or something else that's going to give them a yield of 7% or 6%. While they pay us what? 0. 0.0000 nothing percent. Right. And then what happens? We get hip to it and say, hey, Mr. Silicon Valley Bank, can I have my money back? Oh, we don't have it right now. I want my money back. I don't have it. Everybody, I want my money back. Give us our money back. Hold on. We got to go sell the treasury bonds that we invested in that now are upside down because the rates are through the roof. And I don't have your money. So what has to happen to their Ponzi scheme that I would have went to jail if I did that? They get bailed out. Mr. Biden comes up and says, oh, I'm going to print more money. I wonder why he's going to print more money. To devalue your dollar even more. Because guess what they're doing next to you? They're going to centralize banking. They're going to own crypto. They're going to regulate everything to be digital. So this is the first step to doing it. And they're going to own us. We got to wake up because that's what's happening. And next... There's a war going to go on between China or between Russia, and we're right in the middle, right? And then you look at these companies like BlackRock. Does anybody ever hear of BlackRock or Vanguard? Oh, how coincidental. Since 9-11, you own everything. Hmm. You own everything. You own Pfizer. You own Moderna. Just coincidentally, but we don't know who the hell you are. You're never on TV. But you own Apple. You own Facebook. So you own everybody's identities, all everybody's information, your own Smith & Wesson, your own manufacturers of guns. We're going to war. It just seems you're everywhere at the right time to make all the money. And you're the biggest company in the world, but you're never on the news. We never hear about you. Yeah, man, we got serious problems.